kind of give you the deets of what actually was going on. So to give you a little bit of insight, I decided that I was gonna head over to Barcelona to go to Barcelona Bridal Fashion Week. <gasps> what an absolute treat it was. Now I went with my lovely friend Holly, who is the owner of Wanderlust Events, who if you haven't seen already, I did a recent Sofa Sessions interview um, and episode with her, so I will link that up top for you. She is a destination wedding planner and is freaking amazing guys. She's amazing. So when I mentioned that I was thinking of heading over to Barcelona Bridal Fashion Week, she literally was like, yep, yeah, I'm coming to. So we decided to sort of make two days. I mean, we were literally in and out. We flew out Tuesday night and flew back Thursday night. So it was very swift, but we had such a good time going to lots of shows, getting invited to extra things, I'm not gonna to give too much away, and just making the absolute most of ticking off as many restaurants, bars, and just gorgeous locations as possible that were on our bucket list. So as you can see from the first bit of the vlog already that we flew out with EasyJet, and we arrived in Barcelona, and we were staying at the Palitza Hotel right in the city centre, or sort of right near the Gothic part of Barcelona. Little backstory. I freaking love Barcelona. It's my favorite city in the world. I have been many times. My godparents are Spanish and I have been to Spain most years of my life. And they actually live in Barcelona, interestingly. But I didn't get to see them, sad times. So it holds a special place in my heart. I mean, the culture is amazing. The language is amazing. The food is amazing. The wine is amazing. Just the buildings are amazing. Just they nap. I mean, that's amazing. Um, so big fan. Anyway, stayed at the Palitza, it was beautiful, interior heaven, even when you walk in, the smell, I mean, in the video, you couldn't, you couldn't hear what Holly said, but she turned around, and she was like, it even smells amazing. It literally was just lush, and the staff were incredible. I'll link the hotel below, actually, because they really were just wonderful. We had such a lovely stay, and they were so helpful when we were trying to book restaurants for the evening as well, and we couldn't get into the one that we originally wanted, and they helped us find somewhere else that sort of ticked the boxes as well, so they really were fab. But anyway, we started our first day in Barcelona by going out for dinner, because we didn't arrive till the evening. So I'm gonna show you now, kind of, we went to El Nacional, which was incredible and we had the most gorgeous tapas. I had a lovely glass of Rioja, which I had literally been waiting for. The whole trip I was like, right, go. And I have to say, it was the best glass of Rioja the whole weekend. It was the best. And mm, was it the best dinner? Oh, it's really hard to choose, but it was so, so good. And then we had day one and that was amazing. So I will stop waffling on and take you into more footage, but I'll be back. I'll be back to fill you in with the deets. Let's go.
are currently on the way to Barcelona Bridal Fashion Week. Very excited. We had a lovely trip so far. We checked into our hotel, uh, Hotel Pulitzer, last night, and then we went to El Nacional dinner, had some tapas, had a lovely glass of red wine, and um, yeah, it was really good. Today we've been to Brunel's for breakfast, which was insane, the most epic, <laughs> literally the most epic praline croissant you could ever wish for, and uh, yeah, we're just heading over to the exhibition centre now, the first show that we're going to see is Jesus Piero. Very, very excited. How are you feeling, Hans? I'm so excited. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Holly is the owner of Wonderlust Events and she is wedding, destination wedding extraordinaire. So I'm in my uh, comfortable place. <laughs> she is absolutely, she's my tour guide. <laughs> or at least at the no, airport. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting me through airport like general logistics. Um, you're going to see a lot more of Holly on the YouTube and I know that there's a lot of you that have lots of destination questions. So send them in. <laughs> send them in. Send them in because we may have another feature with Holly coming very soon. This, is, uh, this, this trip is just basically holes and lulls on top. <laughs> just saying. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, amazing, right? Now we were desperate to see Jesus Piero, who was the first, I mean, we were there day one of Fashion Week and Jesus Piero was the first show. The queue was insane. Now we had um, slightly VIP tickets because we had actual wedding planner passes. Um, so we got access before sort of the main members of the public. The queues were insane to get into the show, but that was the person that we really had gone out there to see. And the show did not disappoint. I mean, all about gorgeous tailoring. And I will go into this in more detail, actually, in part two, there is another, there is another video coming um, where I'm gonna go through the dresses a little bit more. I don't wanna give too much away, but oh my God, that show was amazing. Even the music like to the show was incredible. I just loved everything about it. It was kind of electric, like that feeling watching it and the dresses were just absolutely stunning. The sort of, the tailoring, the subtleness to everything, but they just also like empowering. Oh, I just loved it, absolutely loved it. The second designer was Sophie Etwala, who also really liked another Spanish designer. Absolutely stunning dresses, really simplistic in some of their shapes, really lovely soft fabrics. The whole collection was based around rain, which I thought was interesting and really enjoyed that. Also really liked the music to that one as well. The third designer, which I showed you and that we stayed on because basically it was part of the Sophie et Voila sort of sitting as such, they were both kind of two fashion shows in one, was Jolly Polly, which I will admit is not my cup of tea at all. But it was really interesting to see the designs, to see the collection, and just to see something totally, totally different, which is why I've decided to show it on here as well, because I just think it's good to showcase all the different things that are coming out and the diff some of the diff different designs. So those were the three shows that we stayed and watched on day one. And then we obviously went out for a lovely afternoon and we headed over to the Cotton House Hotel for drinks and a cocktail, which guys, I mean, this trip was so about food, drink and interiors as well as going to the fashion shows because I love to be inspired by different designs and interiors when I'm planning weddings as well. So that was really exciting. It's such a really cool vibe over there. So planty. I mean, I love plants, right? There was just plants everywhere in all the places that we went. Absolutely loved that. And then we went out for dinner at Feroz, Feroz or Feroth, which was so fun. We had a table at the bar. The vibe was amazing. A DJ kind of started playing later on in the evening. The waiting service was incredible. The food is insane. Highly, highly recommend, highly recommend. One of the places that we actually wanted to go to was Boca Grande but it was fully booked, unfortunately. So that's still on the bucket list, Boca Grande. But um, yeah, we went to Feroth instead. So anyway, that was day one, absolutely incredible. We had so much fun and we got a special invitation on day one for day two, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I've got another video coming out on day two. So you'll see then. So there we go, guys. It was such a fun trip. Let me know what you think of the designs that you saw from the three different designers. I would love to hear your feedback. Do you like this kind of video as well? It's a little bit different. I'm just playing with different styles of video at the moment because I just want to do something a bit different. Doing tip videos is great and I know that you guys get so much out of them but it stifles my creativity a little bit and there are only so many things that I can tell you so I want to kind of broaden the video base a little bit more so I thought this was super fun anyway guys I will stop waffling I hope you enjoyed day one of my Barcelona trip and make sure you stay tuned for day two which is coming out next week in the meantime guys have an amazing week Happy Wednesday, whatever day it is that you're watching this. See you next week for more wedding planning goodness.